Prophet Jehovah to free, I want to now pass this message again. That was a question that I, I do used to ask a senior pastor uh, at Uyo. You are senior, so I want to just ask you this question. I ask you only one question. Matthew 7 verse 1 and also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's clearly stated there that we should not judge so that you also shall not be judged. My own surprise, the answer you gave to me, uh, it is not okay with me, sir. Another thing that you are really giving to me, another answer that I wish I can understand. The question I repeat again, judge not, you shall not be judged. About the, the, the crying the crying prophet. You know, <laughs> I heard you quoted Matthew chapter 7 verse 1. So put up Matthew chapter 7 verse 1. Let's read first because it's important to put things in perspective. Matthew chapter 7 verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. So he said, I am judging. But let's stay within the same context. Matthew 7 24. Same context. Therefore, whosoever heareth these things of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. So he says, whosoever will hear the word and do them. And then he says, whosoever hear the word and doeth them not. So which means that judgment that Jesus was talking about was as it has to do with people's physical lifestyles, not doctrine. But when it comes to doctrine, the Bible gives us the right to judge doctrine. To judge doctrine. Not persons. To judge doctrine. Okay, so that, I need to put that very clearly, you know, uh, and put it in perspective. We're not judging any human being. We're just dealing with doctrinal issues. We're just dealing with doctrinal issues. Now, you now quoted Matthew 7, 24. Matthew 7, 24 clearly said that, Therefore, whosoever... Hear this say of mine, and do it then. I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. That's what he's saying. But this is not nothing, nothing to do with judge not, sir. I hear me. So that quotation, if any Bible scholar there, please uh, compare these things, compare them, whether they are right or not. They are correct or not because i want to know more from it please can you go back and read it again my question that i asked you uh pastor for you you're the bible scholar i want you to also now ask you this question please sir um you said that god does not give babies babies, don't, babies come don't come from, from heaven, heaven or god babies Listen don't come very from careful. god there's a process that god put on the earth there are only two people that came from god adam and jesus but i want to say sir uh, no, sir. No, sir. I want to just also now um, make you to understand because according to the Bible, the Bible clearly stated here in the book of 1 Samuel 1, taken from 2, 4, it's clearly stated that this is called a woman who was crying for a baby called Anna. Uh, Anna was just was called crying for baby for a long time. And one day she has to go to now to Shiloh in order to cry right at the altar of Christ and also Jesus Christ she now promised God God if you give me a child I will give it to you back to you sir and this woman God gave her a child and it's called Samuel sir who gave that baby sir is it God or doctors or human beings thank you I want to come again sir the Bible says in the book of Luke 1 verse 10 to 20 says that a man called Zachariah he was a man who loves God and also working for God, right in the altars of God. Also, he was also lighting incense every day and people in order to now worship in the altar of God. And one very, very, very evening, he went to the place and while people are also worship, waiting for him out to now for prayers and something happened. And they were waiting and waiting, not knowing that angel appeared to him and the angel said, Hey, hey, Zachariah. Your prayers has touched heaven. And now the Lord has sent baby to your wife Elizabeth in order to conceive a child and name the child John. So, sir, is it human being that gave that one? You said God did not give child. It's God that gave child. The Jacaria, the husband, and also Elizabeth, the wife. 
Who is the person that give it? Now, sir, I want to also ask you another question again, sir. So, because you are the Bible scholar, please, uh, please just give me the answer because I want to learn from you. What is there is this? The Bible says in the book of Genesis 18, verse 9, 9 to 11, just take that short and read it. Now, the reading says about three angels were going to Sodom and Gomorrah. On the way, it was evening. Late was in the evening hours. Abraham was under the tent of the heat of the day, and something happened. I want you to now understand this one. And they now welcomed these three angels. After welcoming them, taking care of them, what happened? In the following day, the angels promised, your wife next year, this time, this time next year, she's going to have, conceive a child. Sir, what happened, sir? The letter, the, when the time comes, that where Isaac, under one year comes. So, what am I asking you is this. Is that child, is he human being that gives or God himself that gives it to Abraham? So, I want to know all these things that you said God did not give child. But this was, uh, if you ask me this was, I'll be fine. Who formed prophet Jeremiah? Who formed you? It is God, not man, sir. Why are we deceiving people? Why are we deceiving people, sir? With this point of mind, I know I have convinced you that God gives children. Shalom. Hello, guys. Welcome to the show. I hope everyone is doing just fine. And uh, I hope you are living life according to your own terms. And things are working out for you exactly the way you hope they work out. So I want us to talk about this video of this popular man of God, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto. Recently, he has been all over social media since he came out with his so-called Miracle Soap, and uh, a lot of people came out and uh, blasted at him for selling all kinds of product in the church that, to their own opinion, hasn't been helpful to those who have bought the product. So initially, he has sold a lot of products, and uh, none of them came under a lot of scrutiny, like this so-called miracle soap. Dr. Herbert Damina spoke about it. Popular and social media influencer like Very Dark Man spoke about it. And uh, people like Auntie Adoni, they all talked about it. And also our brother Isaac. Everyone was like, this man, your own is too much. You are selling this, you are selling that, you are selling water, you are selling apron, you are selling keys. Now you are selling soap. What are you going to say next? <laughs> so the man of God was very, very angry about this. And uh, he decided to address Dr. Ebed Amina because according to him, he was one of the people who brought so much attention to the whole miracle soap. And he was like, do you remember the Bible said, do not judge. Judgment is for the Lord alone. And let me just put this out there. Most Christians and most men of God will always use the particular verse in the Bible to defend themselves. Do not judge so that the Lord will not judge you. For the same judgment you made unto others shall be made Unto you. Now, I don't think that what the Lord meant by this is that if you see someone doing something which is wrong, you should not say anything. I don't think that has the meaning of do not judge others so that you may not be judged. I don't think that's the meaning. I don't think that if you saw someone really doing something that is affecting a lot of people, you shouldn't say anything because the Bible say or the Lord said. Do not judge. I don't think that's, that's the, 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 the reasoning behind this verse. I don't think so. If you see someone saying something that is wrong, it is your responsibility to speak out, to bring forth a counter-argument or counter-actions to what the other person was doing. That is what you are supposed to do. 
any man of God who told you that do not judge so that you may not be judged knows exactly why he or she is saying that. And it is because they are doing terrible things with the Lord's name and they are hoping and praying that people don't realize this and people don't start calling them out for all what they are doing. They are using this quote to silence their members in the church. They are using this quote to silence anyone who wants to criticize them for all their wrong doings. They will say, do not judge so that you may not be judged. That's what they will say. So when we see people doing things that is wrong, we should let them do it. After all, judgment is for the Lord. Is that what you guys are talking about? I don't think that's the kind of society we want to live in. I don't think that's the kind of world we would love to live in, where people can do things without accountability or no consequences. I don't think so. When you see someone doing something that is wrong, like the man of God who was selling all those uh, crazy stuffs that do not even do what they are supposed to do, we should speak out against it. And I wonder why people will buy those things thinking they will do what, they, what he said they would do. I wonder why. But that aside, the second point he made was that Dr. Ebe said, babies do not come from the Lord. And this was like war in Nigeria. People spin it out of context. People took the man out of context. Like I have said before, right? I am not a member of Dr. Eber's church. No, I have never been to his church and I have no interest to become a member of his church. But the point is, when someone is right, we should accept it. And whenever you are listening to somebody with a biased mindset, you are open to pick things out of context. You cannot go out there and say things without giving the full story. Now, if someone just told you, Dr. Eber said, children, do not come from God, you might be like, no, they come from God, right? Because that person has not given the entire story. That person has cut off part of the explanation that the man of God gave. He said that children do not come from, from God. And the reason for this statement is that God has created a process for which people can bear children. Isn't that logical? For example, you have a male and a female, a man and a woman, and they have to come together to bear children. The man will come with a sperm, the woman will come with an egg, and they will put it together, maybe true intimacy, sex, or other means, and they will have children. Isn't that what it is? Isn't that, I don't know, maybe grade 6 biology? Isn't that it? So, why would you think that children come from God? Why would you think that? And if children come from God, why is it that unbelievers still have children? Why is it that native doctors do have children? Why, why is it that people you believe are occultic people are involved in all sorts of ritualistic actions still bear children? Why? <laughs> why? Why is it that not only those who believe in God, not only Christians can have children? Why? So when you listen to people talk, always listen to what they say carefully. Now, I am someone who is open to critique. I critique people like a lot. My whole show is about criticizing people, right? But I do what is called constructive criticism. You criticize people in a very constructive manner so that people who listen to you can get your own side of the argument. But when you come out here like the man of God, Prophet Jeremiah Moto, and just speak out of context and just dilute everything and just muddy everything, then people are left confused and people might think that 
Dr. Ebe is trying to pull people away from God or he's trying to deny God of what God has done or this or that. That's not what the man said. The man has never said that God does not exist or God does not do things for people. The man only said that there are things that we all have to do for ourselves. There are things that God in heaven cannot do for you. There are things that you have to partake in in order to get them done. It is but very, very simple. It's Buddhist, right? So how can people shout about this? How can people even dispute this? Children come from male and female having an intimate relationship. And the whole process of childbearing has been put in place by God. Simple, isn't it? But you know what? Let me hear your own opinion in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think Dr. Ebe is right or wrong? Or is Papa J who is right or wrong? Let's hear that in the comment section below. Because like always, we love hearing what you have to say.